Don't fly away yet. No, 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 be in the video. Hey, Scott here. No, come on, be in the video. Everyone loves you. Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make fleece pads. Now, by no means am I an expert, but <laughs> if you saw the title of the video, Real Men Sew Guinea Pig Fleece. And so what that means is, you know, don't be hung up on, you know, oh, I'm not gonna sew. Give it a try. Uh, sewing is an essential skill and it's weird that in this country, it's kind of caught up in sort of gender things. And it's funny because I didn't think that was the case. When I was in seventh grade in my school, they offered a class called Teen Living is what they called it. It was basically a home ec class, but half of the year was cooking and half of it was sewing. And I made a pillow and I made a whole bunch of really cool things that, you know, it's, it's just a skill that I think why wouldn't you want to know how to stitch things together? Whether it's fixing something that needs repairing or it's making something with your hands. So I've made these fleece pads. Uh, they have two pieces of absorbent cotton batting on the inside. And then I've made some of these. Now these, you can see behind me, I made this tunnel racetrack. So if you haven't seen that video, check that video out right here. But, of course, if you know anything about fleece, you know that you need more than one piece of fleece or otherwise you'll be washing all the time. So I made a couple different versions of this pad and now I'm putting the clean ones on. But I wanted to show you them and now let's take a look at how I did it. There's many ways, I think, to sew fleece, but I figured out a way that works good for me and, um, you know, I think it could work pretty well for you, but it's important to visualize what you want and then, I guess, work backwards from there. But you can't really go wrong. I think the ones that are homemade and not perfect are the ones that actually have the most um, kind of heart and soul to them. So let's make some fleece pads. Let's give our piggies something soft and comfortable to sit on and to sleep on. So let's do it. So here's the fleece and the cotton batting that I got. I just got it at Walmart. Uh, this is my sewing machine and I'm setting up the thread right here. Just follow the directions on whatever sewing machine you. I have the Brother Look XL2600 and I'll put the link to it in the description. I really like it, it was affordable. So if you're new to sewing, I think this is a really great option. You know, I just realized I think I have the foot up. Yeah. I have the foot up. You want the foot to be down because then this thing like basically auto feeds itself. No wonder I was, I was like, why am I having to drive this thing so much? It took me a few tries to figure out the best way to put these things together and sew them. But I wanted to include all my attempts so that you could learn from my mistakes. So watch the whole video and you'll see the easy way that I figured out to put these things together. Much better. Much better. Haha. -ha. So it took me a while to wrap my brain around what I needed to do, and still, we'll see. And this is the first and worst execution. But basically, I needed to sew both the two outer pieces next to each other and then the two inner pieces next to each other so that when I flip it, everything will uh, have a nice seam. Now, the way I cut it is the way I trace it, so that's why this is really bad. So I need to really cut better. Maybe that means folding it so I'm not cutting such a long piece. Here we go, I've gotta try. This is a tricky one because it's so narrow. Uh, I guess I still haven't, I still have a hole in where I've sewn. I'm gonna fix that first. All right, so actually, could be a cuddle sack. It's it's so much narrower than I expected it to be, <laughs> and still there's a part here where there's a hole. Let's see if I can't patch it up. So I'm not trying to sound totally stupid and ignorant, but how do they get that last seam? I'm just going to fold it like this and then sew it. 
sewing, just like any other skill, takes practice and a familiarity with your tools. So don't give up and you'll see that during the course of uh, making all these different fleece pads, I got a lot better. That's why I'm showing you my struggles and my first one. And then when you see the last one, you'll see how much progress I made. Uh-oh. It's my bobbin out. My bobbin. My bobbin's out of thread. Yes. It's really ugly, but it's soft, and it has two layers of batting in there, and I made it. And I'm proud of it. <laughs> well, you can see the difference between my first attempt and my second attempt. I did run out of bobbin thread, which is, that's the bottom thread. So the two threads are coming together to create these stitches. So I'll just wind a new bobbin thread hope I don't run out of thread in general but I think I have some white also um, but not too bad not horrible don't make fun of me Irene don't make fun of me Valerie so I don't know if this is a coincidence or if this is fate but Karen sent a whole fleece party, fleece package. <laughs> okay, here's like a little pad. Man. So what I feel like I see is that this has been sewn inside out and then flipped around and then this layer has also been sewn shut. And it just depends on the size of the pad as to what kind of pattern or how much you know you want to leave open here it's just a nice seal because it's a small pad what else do we have <laughs> a tunnel a super tunnel wow first thing that i noticed about this tunnel is aside from the fact that the pattern is amazing same green pattern here so maybe this is meant to go inside here how cool is that gosh i wish i was guinea pig size this would be where I'd hang out <laughs> but what I was gonna say is what I notice is this inside this is like pee pad there is an absorbent layer inside this tunnel Man. thank you Karen so there's one last thing I don't know what it is this is exciting it feels very squishy <laughs> okay um, oh wow Okay, now I'm getting it. This is like a tunnel, another tunnel. It's a squishy tunnel. So one of these, here we go. So this one ha tunnel has these things that keep the tunnel open, but it's squishy in the middle. This tunnel is one of these collapsible tunnels that will kind of hug them. So this is definitely a great winter tunnel uh, house. I really like the short houses and the short tunnels for a practical reason, which is if the tunnels are very long and long tunnels are fun and they're cool and that's fine, it's great that they exist. But if you have a short tunnel where your piggy's butt sticks out, maybe you get where I'm going with this. Their butt sticks out and the poops fall out and wherever this is, this can be disposed of a lot easier instead of having a whole bunch of gross poops collect inside the tunnel or inside the fleece because then you're gonna have to wash it more and it's gonna get gross. So I like a short, shorter tunnel shorter fleece house, something where their butt sticks out. Just something to think about. <laughs> so it's worth noting after much thought, basically the way I'm making this is I'm making a tube. This fabric is inside out on both sides and I've also sewn the however much 
cotton batting or U-Haul pad or whatever. In this case, it's two layers. So essentially, it looks like this before I turn it inside out. I'm gonna turn it inside out right now. So basically, I'm just gonna reach in here to the end and turn it inside out like a sock. That's pretty much it. What I realized is that at this point, the only part that needs to be connected as far as the stuffing goes is just that end part because I'm gonna sew whatever pattern I want. So just have to make sure, see, if this is even. I'm sure there's much smarter ways of doing this. But in this case, it's going to work great. I'm cutting off this excess material because when I turn it inside out, I want it to be a clean line. I have folded this like this. Now I just have to sew it. We'll be in business. And then I just have to sew something in the middle there. Look at this, I'm starting to feel like a professional now. Pipsqueak's causing trouble. So here's the new pad here. And then these are the new pads. And it connects to here. Barely, barely the right size. Just exactly the right size. Um, and then this is another pad gross that was still fresh <laughs> come on down to pipsqueak's dirty pocket for the freshest poops in town looks beautiful here he is here's the man it may sound cheesy but we do all these little things for our piggies to give them a better life and hopefully to make them happier what <laughs> what happened <laughs> I want to look at that in snow mo. What happened, Pippi? You're so funny. Why are you just like, he's like, you want to see some cuteness? I've been practicing. Pippi! Piggy Smalls has escaped again. Let's see if he's good at following directions. Go home, Piggy Smalls. Hup! You go. You came out. You little weasel. You're going the wrong direction. You know where to go. Go home. You don't even feel bad about it, do you? You get in there. Hey! Get in there. Go home, Piggy Smalls. Go home, drink drink some water. That's your own butt you're sniffing. Oh, see what you did? You collapsed the lid. You little punk. The Velcros, seen better days. Are you proud of yourself, Piggy Smalls? You think about it, right? It's okay, Nails. He's grounded.
See, we don't like rule breakers. It's okay, boys. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. What are you doing up here? Huh? What are you doing that's so crazy? You got the zoomies? Show me. Show me your zoomies. Go, go, go. Believe it or not, sewing fleece was something that I've been meaning to do, but I've been putting this project off for a long time. I guess maybe I was scared, but sewing, there's really nothing to be afraid of. You know, it's just like any other skill. It just takes a little bit of practice, and it's not really that expensive. It's something that anybody can learn to do, and the supplies are everywhere. You can find fleece at Walmart, there's fabric stores in every town, and you know, I would really say give it a try. I'm really happy with my sewing machine. It's this brother, and I'll put a link in the description again, but it's just really easy to use. It was pretty inexpensive, and it really it gives me the opportunity to try my hand at something that, you know, I'm able to create fleece pads to give my piggies a better, more comfortable life. And in the end, you know, it wasn't that hard. I'm proud of it, and I encourage all of you to try it. So leave me a comment. Have you made fleece pads before? Did you sew your fingers together? <laughs> See you next time, guys.